Hello, my name is Kirsten Mulrennan. I'm an archivist at the Special Collections and Archives Department of the Glucksman Library at the University of Limerick. In this video, I'm going to give you a very quick introduction to the West Clare Brigade papers. This small collection consists primarily of manuscript and corresponding typescript biographical accounts of 20 volunteers and civilians who had links with the West Clare Brigade IRA and who died during the War of Independence and the Civil War. The accounts provide detailed information concerning the birth, early education, military career and manner of death of each individual. The collection illuminates a turbulent period in Irish history, stretching from the later decades of the 19th century until the end of the Civil War in 1923. What makes this collection particularly interesting is the inclusion of biographical details of volunteers who were killed during the Civil War while fighting on the anti-treaty side, as information of this nature was rarely recorded elsewhere. These details also help researchers to trace and verify more information about the volunteers if there are corresponding records held in other archive collections. Taking the first biographical account as an example, we can see that Captain Sean Breen was born on the 30th of May 1898, the only son of Michael Breen, a farmer in Kiltumper, Kilmehill, County Clare. This account describes Breen as a fine type of manhood standing over 6 feet 2 inches and built in proportion. It documents his life in the Republican and Irish language movements, an active member of the Gaelic League and a member of the Irish Volunteers and local Sinn Féin club from the age of 15. He spent four months in Dundalk jail for illegal drilling where the account claims he met Countess Markovich who presented him with a lily which he carefully preserved in his prayer book until the day of his death. Breen was later appointed battalion quartermaster of the 2nd Battalion in West Clare and given the rank of captain. The account details that on the morning of Sunday the 18th of April 1920, Breen led an attack on a number of RIC constables leaving mass in Kilmehill and was shot and killed during the altercation. Sean is recorded as John Breen in the 1901 and 1911 census, where we learn that his mother was named Catherine and his two sisters were named Mary and Delia. His father Michael later made an application under the Army Pensions Acts in respect of Breen's death and these records are scanned and available online through the Military Service Pensions Collection in the Military Archives. While the application for a pension was unsuccessful, the accounts contained in the records further corroborate Breen's military activities both in the run-up to and during the War of Independence. The full collection catalogue is available on our website for you to download and save as a PDF. The West Clare Brigade papers have been fully digitised and are available for you to browse on UL's new digital library. See digitallibrary.ul.ie for more. The collection was originally collected by Morris or Moss Toomey from Formoy, County Cork, who served as a staff officer in the 1st Southern Division of the IRA and later succeeded Frank Aiken as Chief of Staff. The West Clare Brigade papers were discovered in Toomey's shop in Dublin after his death in 1978. Researchers may be interested in Toomey's own collection of correspondence, which is also held in UL, primarily concerning the restructure of the IRA in Limerick, Clare and Kerry following the Civil War. UL also holds the papers of the East Limerick Brigade of the IRA. All students and researchers are welcome to make an appointment to view these collections in our reading room in the Glucksman Library. For more information, look out for the handy research guides available on our website, specialcollections.ul.ie. You can also subscribe to our blog to get email updates about new additions to our collections. Links for all resources mentioned in this video are included on the last slide. Thank you for watching and we hope to welcome you to UL soon.